What is good guys, back with another shot on life and why do I have to face this team again? This is like some RMT, right? Uh, gonna be using this team that was passed to me. Uh, it's pretty uh, nice. I got double scarf. And like, Cartana is pretty nice when you have the grassy terrain to boost a leaf blade. So this Celium trend is mainly for... It's mainly for a Tyranita, but I think it could also be nice in this match for the DNC. But I think this is a Sash Greninja, but I don't remember the exact set. But I think it was like HP Fire Sash Ninja. Oh, so how could I lead off with that? I think I'm gonna lead off with Tita with that. And we can just Ice Beam here because I don't think actually this might be weakness policy. This might be weakness policy. I'm just gonna Tabu Bull here. I don't wanna risk him like Ice Beaming him and then he's gonna like get the weakness policy boost. Just horn leech here. See, E speeds for some reason. I don't know why. That shit actually did nothing. Um, I guess I got Nature's Madness. That boy hits me with the mod joint thing. We had some nice damage off if he would have hit that, but of course we miss because it's Pokemon that we that happens. Uh, we actually don't have a good switch into Kartana. I think he's gonna knock off here or something like that. I go to my pecs just to scout what he what said he is. So he goes for second start breaking the heat run, which is a pretty bad play in my opinion, but okay. So we have a free scald here slash a knockoff. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think knockoff is fine. So he gets good ninja. I think Thash, so it doesn't even matter. I could have just scored that anyway. I got double defog, scarf double defog. So I think I'm gonna be able to get a defog off later in the game. And I can just spam scald. Because uh, when he spikes, he becomes obviously weak to scald. I don't remember if this has Toxic Spike, I think it's just Spikes, Taunt, uh, Gunk Shot and HP Fire. So just spamming Skull is fine. He gets two layers, but yeah, whatever. We can defog them later if you want to. Just gotta be careful that I don't defog on the one that can set up and sweep me. <laughs> so he gives him a Dragonite, which is, uh, I think, the move. The Megina is probably Shuka. The Dragonite should be the move yet, that's what I'm thinking at least. So there's a big threat, I think I go Blando here and then you turn out. To break the multi-scale and yeah, I don't really have good counterplay to this. Uh, maybe, yeah I think if I get up the grassy terrain, right, if I get up my grassy terrain, um, then I can go back into my land though. And then when aggressive terrain is up, Terranita could eat a bit off quick from this, which is what I'm going for here. But he keeps DDing, he keeps DDing. Um, fuck my life, dude. So now. He DDs again, but I don't think he can kill the Terranita in grassy terrain because it's a bulky Megaton and I have Ice Beam. So I think he fucked up. Like, I misplayed that a bit, I think, but he also misplayed. Cause I don't think he can kill me. Oh, is he move? What? What's he move? Like that? I guess that might. See that? Nothing. What the fuck? Surprised that. I thought he would go for off quick. I know Shireen is up, but. Yeah, that also wouldn't have killed. So. I think we just ice beam too. Like whatever, kill me. That's fine. Um. So now I can go into my uh, land to get the defog off. He stays in. Okay. You just go to double bullo here. Doesn't matter too much. Just click on leech. Uh, yeah, yeah, we click on leech. Um, like I wanted to nature's madness, but I already missed one earlier. So this is. I don't remember which Megina said it is. I think Pex should be fine here. Goes for focus blast breaking my heat trend. Um, it's probably Z move, right? Wait, is it? No, the Z-Move was on Dragonite. The Z-Move was on Dragonite. I already said that earlier. Uh, we go back to Bulu here. Because we gotta get the Regenerator up. And uh, now we can go 
back to packs and now we go actually we don't go back to bully because we don't wanna we don't go back to bully because we don't wanna give him the the terrain that gives him health back the terrain is nice for me to get my health up but I obviously don't wanna give him health because McGinn has a huge threat uh, if he paras me that's annoying is he? I think he's uh, all at pummeling because he's not going for Electrium. But thankfully, he doesn't have Calm Mind. He does crit me, which is okay because the Pex is fat. The Pex can eat. Nice and Spadef. Also, yeah, really big fan of Black Sludge. Um, if you get burned, you still cancel out the burn damage since burn got nerfed. And I know like Pex has Recover and Regen, so it's not that hard to keep it healthy even without Black Sludge. But it can definitely be super nice in some situations. As long as he doesn't um, para our critters, that's the para fuck. But as long as he doesn't full para us, we're gonna be able to keep our packs healthy and he paras us here. <clears throat> okay, nice. At least he didn't para us there. So now he's probably gonna go to. I don't really know what he's gonna go to. If he goes to Yancy, that means he might have off power. Just goes Zygarde, so. Just go to Landorus here and U turn out. I mean, I could have also gone hard into Bulu, but just getting off Intimidate I think is fine. And we just click uh, Juan Leech. Yeah, he does go on his own Kartana, which is completely fine. So now the grassy terrain is, the terrain is up, which means he's probably gonna leave Blade. So I really wanna go to my own Kartana, but I think I need my own Kartana. So he turn seems like it's not necessary to win the game and I was figured he was gonna go for a leaf blade there so I think he was a fine play and now I want to go for um Z move predicting his um like no matter what he goes to like Z move destroys him here but I can also just raw flash can yeah I don't think I lose much by going for Z move because yeah that should occur the and I don't know if regular flash can would occur the DNC and it, I don't want to really calc that because like I didn't really need my Z-move or anything else. I can just go back to Pex. Uh, pretty sure he can't Oko me if he goes for Leaf Blade. It's gonna do a lot, but he can't Oko me. I actually kinda wanna stay in there. Yeah, I could've stayed in there to be... F yeah, but this works. He does go for a knockoff. And he just forfeits. So nice. I'm gonna keep going. That, that RMT is super weird, <laughs> but I think it was weakness policy Zaga that just didn't show off. So this guy has some weird, um, some weird whale with a Coco uh, Bisharp. I think Tita's nice here because, um, so he doesn't get up the terrain and he does leave off with Zaga predicting my Tita, which is good, uh, good play on him, but I don't think that matters too much. Go. I think um, Holy should be able to break the sub. And as long as he doesn't have Toxic, how does he even hurt me? Yeah, E-Speed, it doesn't even hurt me. So now he's probably gonna go to Venusaur. So I think I wanna pull a double on that. Uh, how do I double and beat the Venusaur? I can go to my Heatran here. Oh, Venusaur is super annoying for this team. I think I just wanna Nature's Madness to weaken the Venusaur. Uh, make him use up a Synthesis potentially. Now I can just go to Toxapex. The thing is, like, Heatran also works, but if he has... If he has Earthquake, Heatran doesn't work that well. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll go Heatran. Paxus, like, doesn't really do much to Venusaur. I don't know why he isn't Mega. Why he didn't Mega? And also, I don't know why he Sludge Bombed. Now... I think I just Magma here. Even though doubling on the mana fee is an option. But I have AV Bulu to check the mana fee. Uh, let's see if he has... Maybe I should have taunted breathing synthesis. As he does have Earthquake. But since Grassy Terrain was up, uh, that was completely fine. And... Flash Cannon should definitely kill him. I don't want to risk missing. Fortunately, the terrain ended, but we're still above half health. So this can still check the Halucha potential... Uh, the Bishop potentially. And it also comes in on like Ninetales. 
Um, I'm expecting this to have you turn out on my Bulu here, but I don't see what I lose from going Bulu anyways. He goes to this boy. Um, now I can just go to Titar, and even if he breaks that and goes for Hail, I can just Mega Evolve the next turn, so he's never gonna get his um, he's never gonna get his Aurora Veil up at the moment. So he does go for I don't know why he did that. Uh, that doesn't work, my man. <laughs> when I change the weather, which is pretty obvious that I was gonna do that. I, I might want to stay regular form to like m potentially mega evolve later in case I come back in on this and he goes for hail. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think I can just get my rocks here. Oh, he just forfeits. Okay, we get another one then. <laughs> okay, this guy is Hooper Trickum. Uh, Hooper Trickum is threatening for sure. Let me, let me check this guy's ring actually. I haven't been doing that too much, checking their ring. Okay, my man is mid 1500s. Um, so camera up is actually threatening a fl flip, and especially in trick room. Um, I think I can leave with my Heatran or Katana. I think Heatran is fine. So he's probably gonna lead Oxy, which, which is what they almost always do. Just magma here, right? Because he he magic codes um trying to he magic coded trying to predict the taunt or the rocks. I think predicting rocks or taunt here. Yeah. And is he fast? You see how does magic code have priority? Let me see if magic code has priority. Because if I'm faster, um No no, he's just faster than me, what the fuck? Yeah, but the thing is, um, if he doesn't go for rocks here, that means, yeah, I'm faster, okay. So magic code does work like that. Like it bounces back the move, it doesn't have priority, but it works on that turn. So he doesn't even get a trick room up, which is really nice for me. I mean, if he didn't get the magma crit, I would have still, I would have gone for Z-move probably. So now he goes crest, they run a mantle herb. I might still want to taunt him because then the next time after he wastes the mantle herb, I can taunt him then. Um, so I think I can. I think I want to do that taunt, and he's gonna have his mental herb activated, right? Yeah. So he gets a trick room up here. Yep. But that's fine, because he has his Cresselia in. Now I want to off power here because it hits them, because it hits the um, the camera up for a good damage. If he goes Hooper, that's scary. But I think he's gonna go camera up, and I want to just get good damage on that, as that gets really great damage off. If I was Z off power, I would have been fire, but unfortunately I'm not. So now, I think he's gonna click fire move here. Predicting a switch. Um, this one is actually gonna destroy me. Mm. Yeah, I think I go into my Landris here. Like, you can obviously break that and go for a fire move. As he does do that, yeah. I mean, my Scarf Lander wasn't really necessary in this game. I think Tita lives a hit. As. 3 to 66 um, I don't know did I did I import the custom set I did not import the custom set um, I pretty much I'm gonna pause real quick and import the set my bad yeah I'm pretty sure Menta Ranta eats it my boy Pex can also eat it up so hmm but I think Tyrant does the play. Yeah, we just go for Earthquake. Oh, this Earthquake is gonna hurt, obviously. Should do like 70, maybe. Like, I did not really find the... Like, I imported the spread, but for some reason it still showed the old custom spread that I imported for my T-Tar. And I was, oh, I was also calling with Pex. I was calling different things. Pex can live one, but it takes like 80 to 100. So I'm not gonna go to Pex because Pex can be really nice for the Megina. So he does go hard Bulu. Um, uh, if Ice Beam killed, maybe I should have gone for Ice Beam. But now I do have a Katana, so I think I wanna go Pex pretty in the superpower. Because my Katana is quite obvious here. 
His sub, okay. Um, now I do not have a move to break the sub. That is actually really f bad. Uh, so I think I'm pretty much forced to sank my Kartana to break the sub because I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Oh wait, this doesn't have this doesn't have smart strike, which is really bad. But if he just kills me, then it's okay. Um, because I have my Heatran here to revenge this. Yeah, yeah, my go Heatran. I have to. I think I'm just gonna click the Z move because I don't want to risk missing. And I don't know if Flash can kill the max HP type of Bulu, but we can calc that real quick. Uh, Heatran. Where is this? Uh, top of Bulu. We can max HP, right? Like 248 or something like that. Um, I give a flash can. Does the 79 is 94? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that. I'm just gonna click Z move him. Um, he goes to Cress, okay. Well, this time. The taunt is quite obvious, but I think I'm still gonna go for it because I just can not allow him to get Trick Room up. Exactly. And now I just Magnus Storm, he just doesn't have good switch ins. Like Hoopa can switch in, but other than that. If he leaves, leaves his Corsalia in, he cannot Healing Wish anything. I mean, Luna Dance, which would be amazing. Uh, Koksu Crash actually kind of did a lot to the Crest, considering that Crest is like a super fat mod. <laughs> like, Crest never dies in one hit no matter what move you go for, and I mean, it was a Z move. I gotta calm down a bit, it didn't do that much. So let's go Hoopla, thankfully he doesn't dodge. Now... <clears throat> this might... Be like a life or pooper. I don't really have a switch in for this. Drain Punch destroys my heat and my T-Tar. A Psychic Step destroys my packs and the Gunk Shot destroys my Bulu. So this is tough because heat is pretty nice um, for the for the type of Bulu to revenge that. So I don't think I can set my heat in here. I have to switch. I just don't know into what yet. Um, Pex is set up for the, for Bulu. So I guess I will try to sack Pax, but Pax can be nice for the Megina. now, so this is a tough... Yeah, this is a, a tough turn for sure, but I think I have to sack my Pax. I don't know if I can beat Megina without Pax though, that's the question. So he goes for Focus Blast and that hit my Heatran and also my Teeter. No, I want to scout for the Psychic Stab, but yeah, yeah I want to pivot into Teeter here. Because if he's a slow Trick Room variant, uh, Matita might outspeed him. He Focus Blast again. Uh, unfortunately, he misses. Um, so we can pursue him here. Which, um, yeah, that myth obviously sucked. But I don't know if that would have all caught me. 459 Spid Death, let me count that. I probably would have all caught me, especially if he specs. Um. Oh no no! I have I have three or six. Wait, so the, so never mind. It, it did work. My custom set did go through. I was just confused earlier because yeah. So Hooper choice specs. Focus best does Oko if it's specs. Wait, is the sand activated? It is. If it's not specs, um, let's say it's just not. I don't know. If it's not specs, it doesn't kill me. But I guess it was specs. Now. I cannot give this a boost, so I'm gonna go hard packs here. See trick rooms. And I'm gonna go to my Bulo here. I'm kind of scouting for Electrium Z. Even though sometimes I carry Z Fairy, sometimes I carry Z Electric. Kind of a rough turn, but I think going into Bulo here is definitely kinda of needed in case he has Gigavolt Havoc. I'm actually not sure if that. I probably wouldn't even Oko me, but I don't wanna risk it. If he comments on my switch here, I might be in huge trouble though. But usually they run Trick Room 3 attacks, that's what I see at least. Like, I have not seen a common Trick Room variant yet. So that would uh, catch me off guard if he is a uh, common Trick Room with like Bolt Beam only. Which, uh, yeah, Bolt Beam is actually all he needs for me. I don't know, Tita kind of checks him if he doesn't have a uh, fairy move. So he does go to Cresselia and. What is he gonna do with Luna Dance back, the, the, the camera up? Yeah, he's gonna Luna Dance back the camera up. 
So what do I even do about that? Fuck. I mean, he only has two draw turns. Then. If I had sub here, that would be so cool. Huh. I think I'm going to run a Pex here, maybe. Because I think Pex doesn't die in one. But I have I don't have enough time to calc. Yeah, I have to click like I wanted to go Tita, but if Pex doesn't die to um if Pex doesn't die then I can scald and get a huge hit off. But he obviously beats me one v one. Um Camera up fuck I'm timing out. I don't think I have time. Let me just click a button. Uh, I don't think he can Oko me, so I'm just gonna Scald, which might be a huge misplay. But I get my Grassy Terrain back. And now I get him in range. And I think I can go to Tita here, live a hit, uh, get Grassy Terrain back, and then I should be able to kill him with Earthquake, hopefully? Not sure if Earthquake would kill. Um, I, can, I can even get up my rocks here, actually. I can get up my rocks here. So he goes to Megirna. Now, I do want to go to my Bulu first. I don't want to go to my Pex here on a potential T Bolt or whatever. This just trick room up. Um, I go Pex here. If he Giga Volts here, this guy's a. Oh, what did he go for? Flirkren? Yeah, yeah, I figured he would go for that. That does a fuck ton. Uh, since trick room is up, I can uh, actually go for recover here. And I'm faster. So I think I win this game now. Um, unfortunate focus blast miss, he can obviously still parry me, so I shouldn't speak too soon. Megina can always hack through, but yeah, his emo was the twinkle tackle, which was... Um, I was either expecting that, or I was expecting Gigavolt Havoc, one of the two. Grassy Terrain and Trick Room ends next turn, which means I'm gonna be slower next turn, so I think I have to recover here, because if I'm slower and low, that would be bad. Now I have to recover spam again a few turns. He's eventually gonna parry me, we'll know how this works. Now if I recover like... Hmm. Maybe I can go Bulu here, because I'm kinda stalling him out of T-Bolts. Actually he does have a lot of T-Bolts, what am I saying? And he does get the parry on that turn. So I guess I was smart that I switched out, because I don't want my packs paralyzed. But yeah, the Focus Blast Miss obviously sucked. I'm gonna keep this life a bit shorter, maybe you get one more game after this. And I think I just scald here, now the trick room is up, I outspeed him and that was a crit, that was uh, that was bad. I think I can go Bulu here, then back to Pex, then recover, because he's always gonna T well there. I'm kind of playing with fire, but <laughs> Megina is threatening to check defensively, and like the, the way this team works, is, um, I have to check it defensively because Trick Room uh, means he outspeeds my Heatran. <laughs> I could actually try to get my Heatran in on a turn where Trick Room ends. If he only has T-Bolt to hit my Heatran, then, then I'm fine, but he might also have Focus Blast. I think this guy took an RMD from the forums and like changed one or two months. Not 100% sure though. I saw he flourish, which means he's at minus 2. Now I don't want to let him go into Bulu because Bulu can set up a sub on my packs. So I think I'm going to go into my heat turn here as it covers the top of Bulu switch. And the trick room is going to end, which means I'm going to be faster this turn. And as long as I connect um, my Magma Storm, I'm fine. Flash Cannon is a roll. I think I'm willing to risk that roll because I don't want to risk missing as he does live. I don't think he can Oko me exactly, so that's why Flash Cannon was always the play because he don't, I don't risk missing and I still beat this. Um, unless he superpower crit me there. Now, I can just taunt him here preventing the trick room. Oh, I actually do not. No, I don't know. No, I don't want to taunt here because if he attacks me and I lose my heat and he gets a special attack boost. So I think I'm just going to go hard on my packs. Um, so he does just focus blast. And we can just scald here fishing for the burn that I am waiting for. And we do get the burn, which is nice. And 
I don't think Bulu was the play actually because now I gave him this terrain recovery which cancels out the burn but I think that's still fine. I just wanted my terrain back so my packs can stay super healthy um, in case I get crit or something. Just just focus blaze there and yeah we can just scald spam now and then recover. You guys can see I'm getting a lot of health back here from uh, Black Search was grassy terrain. And the pack still does what it does best. Um, uh, it's super bulky like. I, I kind of said that weird, but like, <laughs> Pex never dies. <laughs> so we can go back to... No, I think we just recover here. Just recover, yeah. Now, he might Flurkan break in my Bulu, so I think I'm just gonna Scald here. I don't know, hmm, I thought I would Flurk and Deva with him. I think I would have Flurk and Deva with him. Well, he might Flurkan, but since I'm AV Bulu, I will eat that up anyway. Just want to have my terrain back to be safe with my packs. <laughs> because I am Parrot, so I'm playing with fire here as he triggers that turn, which is fine because my uh, packs now it beats him. As he goes back to camera up, but having trickling up means I would speed, and I just. Wait, he outspeeds me because I'm paralyzed, I forgot about that. So, I fucked up there. Um, wait. I didn't even check camera up speed stat, I just, I just clicked the button without thinking. What is camera up's min speed? Um, I don't know what this guy is talking about, but I mean, I maxed for death. He needed max, max, max damage to kill me. Wait, what is camera? Ups? I'm just gonna check camera up speed here. I don't know what this guy is like. What do you mean outplayed? I mean, yeah, you like outplayed me with the focus blast, but like, what? Like, I don't know why you're getting so mad, because it's a 70% accuracy move. And, like, I have somewhat... Like, I have somewhat limited abilities. Like, maybe I should have stayed in on your camera, my man, but, like, yeah. I don't know what this guy wants, this guy's just complaining. Yeah, camera up the super slow, I completely forgot about that. But, I mean, I, as long as I didn't get parrot there, I was always fine. Yeah, whatever. I mean, Trickum, Trickum always has been kind of tough for me to play against. Um, like camera up is just super hard for me like I'm not that high on a ladder so I figured that he might not fire blast like he obviously made a good play but it, it was also kind of obvious so I kind of had to it was kind of a 50-50 yeah like I don't think I like I don't like regret my play going land on getting caught on fire blast like I don't think I need my land obviously he uh, played that well with the Hoopa where I got destroyed pretty much but I dodged the focus blast but it's Pokemon like Whatever. Anyway, so this guy has... Since we have Spadef packs, this should be okay versus the clown as long as we don't get Spadef. Oh, we have Tita for the clown. What am I saying? The clown is not going to be a threat at all. Um, I think Heatran is a fine lead here because if he leads Blastoise, I can just go to my um, the Matoxa packs. Yeah, the Mach is actually annoying, but... It's not too bad. So I think I just want to go for off power here, get some nice dead dead no damage. But since I'm Z move, I eat that. So I kind of want to switch here, he might pursue breaking that. Um, he can't really touch the packs. Obviously, I could potentially lose my Black Sludge, which sucks, but it's, a, it's whatever. Now he should switch into like Ferrothorn. I'm just going to knock off because it gets me something out of the turn, guaranteed. Because if I Scald, there's a chance that I don't get the burn. But if I knock off, I get rid of the lefties immediately. Now... I can go to Kartana here pretty much. And just defog these rocks away. Uh, yeah, keeping off rocks is nice for sure. Yeah, this team is weird. Um, like, two Scarfers with uh, defog. But, like, it's definitely cool because Scarf defog means you pretty much get the defog off if you wanted to. Or if you need it. The thing is, um, I don't know why he jarred. Why did he stay in there? What if I'm SD or a pummeling or something like that? I don't like his play, but it worked out. So I'm gonna go heat turn here. This this guy just doesn't think he just stays in. He doesn't like what if I'm all pummeling my guy? Now I do expect the muck slash blastoise. So I wanna double into my pack here. Just I don't want the muck pursuit trapping my heat turn. Then I think I'm gonna try to just burn something here. Because if I burn the Ferrothon, it's pretty much gonna get worn down by a lot. Uh, so we do get the burn knife. So now I can go Kartana here and defog these away. 
As I don't know why this guy did not even fear my Kartana. He just stayed in with his Feral Thorn. I don't know why he would leech you there either. Guess. Like, I'm not that low on the ladder. Like, come on. Like, the, uh, this guy's team actually looks like a super low ladder team, though. So, he's gonna get his rocks back up. I'm gonna go my Tren and. I think I'm just gonna Magma Storm this time. As it is some nice chip if I would hit, but I miss. I mean, I guess it's. Cause I like last game I dodged the move, now I miss the move, that's how Pokemon goes. So we're gonna pex here. But like this is oh by the way the one glass guy with the with the Hoopa. One of the reasons why I don't like specs of special Hoopa is uh, focus blast. Um because like Yeah, like I usually use um physical. But I don't like relying on focus blast. It's like months like Alakazam. That would be so good, but like Blanda talks about it, right? Sometimes the Alakazam would be so good if Focus Blast was more accurate or like if it, if it wouldn't miss. Um, I guess I'm just gonna recover. He might go into his Lele, but he just tries to flinch me instead. I think I wanna knock. No, no, I'm just gonna skull because it gives me a chance to burn if he stays in. I don't know why he's not going to Lele. Looking at his team, either the Lele or the Blaze should be Scarf. It's actually super threatening though. I think I want to go to Bulu and not risk getting flinched. I want to keep my pecs healthy. Now, I want to super power here as it hits the Pharaoh, but in case he goes to the Clown, the Blaze. Um, I think Nature's Madness is a good mid ground play as it hits everything, and I do get an extra turn of Grassy Terrain if he goes to Ferrothorn, and I can kill him with the Super Power next turn. Now, if he pivots into the Blaze, good play, but I still have my Tita in the back, so it doesn't matter too much. And that extra turn kind of helps me, the extra turn of Grassy Terrain that I got kind of helps me cancel out that Iron Bars damage that I had to take. Now, Dragnet is obviously a huge uh, threat. I think I just want to go for... Um, I think I'm just going to my Landris, yeah. I was gonna say Ninja's Madness, but now I U-turn out to break the multi-scale. Um, this should be Z-move, but like I see Stone Edge, uh, no, I, not Stone Edge, I see Weakness Policy too often, so that, that's why I didn't go for Stone Edge. Also, you still had a scale intact. The problem is the terrain ends next turn, which is really bad. So I'm gonna go to the packs here. Um, I'm gonna back to Lando here just to get the Intimidate off, because I, I have to, like, somehow, I have to get up my grassy terrain. Uh, when my Grassy Terrain is up, then my Tita can eat up an Earthquake from this boy, which is pretty much what I want. Uh, I knew he would go for Earthquake there now. I just U turn again here. Now he Dragon Dances again, yes, but I go Bulu, I shuffle Intimidate, I go back into Lando. And his speed pretty much doesn't matter because my Tita does have Ice Beam. My Mega Tita is bulky, it's gonna eat a hit. I'm just gonna have to get the Tita in. Um, I'm not, I don't wanna go hard into it and risk um, getting Tweet KO'd. As he does waste his V-move there as it's Sky Strike. Now I lost my Scarf Lando, but I don't think I needed him. I can go Cheetah here. Mega Evolve and go for Ice Beam, which should kill. Oh by the way, this uh, the team is gonna be in the description. I, I gotta ask Sedur if I'm allowed to pass it to you guys, but I should be. Should be fine. Oh yeah, we should uh, go undefeated in this life. Um, now I can just go to Toxapex here in case he wants to go for like Ice Beam, predicting my Bulu switch. He just scalds. And. Yeah, the terrain ends next turn, so I think I just want to recover here. I don't know why he's not going to his Lele. He's just going for Flinch and he gets it this time. Now, if he flinches me here, that would be annoying because my Pex is almost dead. If he flinches me here. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't really need Pex for that much. It's just nice. For no, it's super nice for the Muck actually, so I'm gonna go Bulu here and not risk the flinch, I just wanted to be at a little bit more health. And I wanted to get the terrain back up when I bring my Bulu in, which is why I didn't go to it earlier. Now I can just Horn Leech here, I think. Um, the the Blacephalon has pretty bad defense. Muck also gets hit neutral and should get 2 hit KO, so... It, it resists, my bad, I forgot it resists, I thought it was only dark. It has Poison, Poison obviously resists. Poison obviously resists um, grass. Um, I don't think superpower is gonna kill him, so I can just go to my pex here. And if he pursues me, he has a chance to poison me, but it doesn't do much damage other than that. If he devils into blaze, uh, I can get a free Tita here. And as long as he, because I'm fearing the trick on my pex, that's why I didn't stay in. And Tita eats this. As long as he's not like specs for death drop. Okay, now we can just pursue this. 
Grassy Terrain helping us uh, get some health back with our Cheetor. And he does try to switch and he just gets pursued. He's Sash. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, this guy's team was really weird. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And yeah, just go to. Actually, yeah, I think Pax is fine. Um, yeah, like I said, it's mainly needed for the for the mock. Um, I'm just gonna recover because for some reason this guy never goes and switches into his Tabu Lele. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk this anyway. I don't know why I'm risking it sometimes. Let's just go Bulu. And this time Hornly into Woodhammer should kill the Muck. So as long as they don't get burned here, I'm fine. So we do get burned. Um, should have expected that, but Hornly is still fine here. Still gonna do a good amount to this. It's Grassy Terrain boosted and he cannot really hurt me. So now obviously the Muck can avoid a 2 hit KO because, um, because he burned me, but it's fine. We can just go back to the packs, um, and yeah, I think my Scarf Katana pretty much cleans up with Grassy Drain Boost and Leaf Blade late game. I just have to get some more chip on the mark. No, I do just want to. I do just want to scald here. Was that even? That was. I don't know if that was correct English. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's really late here, but I recall a man Vatron earlier, and we were using like a Mega Scepter. Mega Scepter is okay, but it's kind of garbage. So like, I was trying to like, kind of make a Wind Theme shot on live. Yeah, that didn't go too, that didn't go too too well. I can still upload it if you guys want. Let me know in the comments, but I would probably not upload it. I just didn't feel like it was the best recording. Not because we lost. I don't mind losing. We went like three and three, so we didn't like. It was okay considering that the team wasn't that great. And people on ladder also like that team was super weak to Lele, and people on ladder always have they had Lele. And the other one guy had Halucha. The team also gets destroyed by Halucha. Uh, this team is also pretty weak to Halucha, not gonna lie. Um, I usually always pack like Coco or Clef. Like even HP invested Coco with Roost to stay healthy to check Halucha better. Or sometimes I carry Mew, uh, which is a decent check for Halucha, but even then, Halucha is such, is such a big threat. Like Mew, if it gets poisoned by like T Spikes, it doesn't check it that well. Clef doesn't even Oko with Moonblast, so you lose 1v1 if you go into Clef, they SD on the switch, they beat like Acrobatics to it, KOs are plus 2, Moonblast doesn't Oko them. Um, it's tough. Um, it would be cool if I could uh, get a burn though, which I can finally get nice. So I'm just gonna go back here, I think. I don't want this to get flinched because, the deck, I said I need it for a mug. I have said it a few times now. Um, obviously, mug will eat up the whole Legion now that I'm burned. Maybe I should just go for Woodhammer to get maximum damage on the mug. But I think Holy just fine. Did absolutely nothing. Terrain is pretty much helping him as well. It's one of the things that I, I don't like that about terrain that also helps your opponent. But if it only if it only would affect the monster on your side, it would be kind of busted. Now we just recover here. He should go. I don't know why he's never going into Lele. Like usually people bring their Lele in our packs, but this guy's like, nah, not today. Um. So I think what I can do is um. Maybe sack the Tyranitar. Actually, no, 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 let's not do that. I'm just gonna stay in. I have the terrain to help me cancel out my burn. Uh, so even when he flinches me, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in. Like, he has to flinch me multiple times to beat me. Like, like I said, going Lele would be a better play on his part. But if he goes Lele, I would just sack my Bulu and then I would go on a Kartan and sweep with Scarf Leaf Blade, I'm pretty sure. Because Grass Terrain should kill the Muck. I would have to calc if it does kill the mug, but it would definitely put in work for sure. This was only I think this was only the it's only the fourth game of the life, but the the third and the fourth game I have been longer. I mean this team has like some fat mods like the packs. AV Bulu. Um yeah, but I'm a big fan of that defensive core. Now he finally goes into hard lele. Which means I can attempt to um I can run a calc real quick if how much katana does in a grassy terrain to muck because if i sack my bulu here and then go into my katana i don't know why my thing is not working but if i sack my bulu here then go to katana um, i have grassy terrain where there it is then um leaf blade is gonna do 43 to 51 in terrain versus muck 
Which means it still doesn't kill. But I pretty much get a kill if I set my Bulu here. And then switch in Kartana because I think... Lily should definitely die to aggressive terrain. Boosted Leaf Blade. 85 to 100. Am I missing something? Oh, that's not... The card that I was running was not in grassy terrain. Okay, my bad. Uh, grassy terrain. Uh, Leaf Blade does 120 min in grassy terrain. So, we sack this boy here. We sack him. We just go for Woodhammer. We make sure we die. <laughs> then we go to Kartana and click Leaf Blade and... Should win the game. Like, I don't know if it killed Mug, like I said. Like, I, I might have um, ran the Kalk wrong. I might actually die, guaranteed. But Mug can also not kill me unless there's like Fire Blast or some other special move. And he is just forfeit. So, thank you guys for watching. Team did pretty well. Team is gonna be down below unless my mentor says no. <laughs> and yeah, peace out. Um, I'm gonna do like some sort of Christmas special with my friends the next day. But it's a Christmas team that I have here. The I mean, UB made, it's just mono Christmas. Um, it's pretty much impossible to get a win with that team. Like, unless you're Jesus Christ, like UB is, then you can get some wins. But you will tilt and lose all of your points. Where is it? Where is it? Um, yeah, here's the mono Christmas team. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said you can put an Ember. This team needs an Ember, which Ember would be like, I guess, the dinner, the Christmas dinner, which. Um, I don't really agree with Ember as a Christmas theme, but I guess you could put that on to make the team a bit better. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back another time with this uh, nice Christmas life. But I don't know if we're going to use this wild team. We're going to use some sort of Christmas team, but I don't, maybe not this, but yeah, goodbye. And yeah, I kind of fucked up my outro because I got interrupted. Someone walked into my room. But yeah, you guys can see my builder here. Let me know if I should en use any of these teams. Okay, I'm not going to use this nasty stall team. Uh, I got a team from a Mency led here. And I got this uh, RMT that Zumok made. I got another team that Rachel and uh, this I made this team. This team actually is better to do this to Volk, don't use it. Um, this team is my boy with Rachel and made. It's uh, pretty weird and interesting to say the least. What is this? A bolt beam me with flamethrower? <laughs> For the Pharaohs? Like, interesting at least. But yeah, I don't know. My outros are always bad. I'm bad at doing outros. Peace out, friends. <laughs>